Well, it is one of our favorite times of the week, Fine Arts Friday. Broadway stars will be gracing the streets of Greenville in the coming weeks and also our stages here for the South Carolina New Play Festival. And joining me now is Wes Tyler, the Executive Artistic Director for the festival. Thanks so much for stopping by. You're very welcome. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, well, we've been talking a lot about this on Midday. We're so excited. But for those who have maybe missed some of our coverage, what can we expect? So we bring Broadway stars to Greenville to do shows before they are seen around the world. We're trying to become the Sundance of Broadway theater. So whereas movies start at Sundance before they go on screens all over, shows begin here and then they transfer to lives all across the country and hopefully across the world. Yeah, oh, that sounds amazing. I know this is the second year of the festival. Are you glad it's back? What's the goal for the future? Yeah, this that. is the second year, and I was unprepared for the demand this year. I mean, tickets are flying mm -hmm. off the shelves. Uh, we had six tickets open up for Essential Alice over the weekend, and in 30 minutes they were gone. Wow. Uh, but we do still have tickets available for A Black Billed Cuckoo, which stars Kelly McAndrew, who is on Broadway in Cat in a Hot Tin Roof, and our own local celebrity, Mimi Weich, who was on Broadway and has acted all over town. What do you think that says about Greenville, that these tickets are such a hot commodity and our love for theater, really? Yeah, I think it's partly the work that the theater community has done in Greenville over the last many years, uh, getting people to love theater, to going out. You know, we use every venue. So mm -hmm. we have performances at the Peace Center, at Greenville Theater, Warehouse Theater, South Carolina Children's Theater, and Center Stage. So during the festival, you move up and down Main Street at all these amazing venues that are already here. And I feel like it's kind of not heard of to kind of have all these theaters a part of the same event. So what is it like to get to have that collaboration? Yeah, this is an unprecedented collaboration amongst theaters. And to do a performing arts festival here in Greenville, you know, we've got amazing festivals, Euphoria, Artisphere, but there is no performing arts festival. And to be able to do this and headline it with Miguel Cervantes, who mm -hmm. is Hamilton in Hamilton. He is Saturday night, he'll do Hamilton on Broadway. He catches a plane on Sunday morning. He'll be here doing a cabaret Sunday night. Monday he flies back to continue doing Hamilton on Broadway and there are still tickets available to that. That is a work ethic. Let's just let's just <laughs> say that. That is so impressive. I love Miguel. He was also Hamilton in Chicago for years. He's done 1,400 performances. Wow. More than anyone else. I said that probably beats Lin-Manuel Miranda it at that is. point. It is. More then. than Lin-Manuel Miranda. There you go. So he's <laughs> Maybe the best, Hamilton. We'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll leave it there. <laughs> we can't say that if Lynn's watching. <laughs> that's right. That's true. But I want to talk a little bit about some of these Broadway stars that are featured in the festival. How did you get them to come to Greenville? So my wife and I are both uh, had a career on Broadway. We were 15 years on Broadway. I uh, was one of the directors on Cirque du Soleil Paramore, their Broadway musical. I worked on Jersey Boys. Uh, Shelley worked on Beautiful and Guys and Dolls. So we have a lot of connections. So Drew Galing, who was the original doctor and waitress, is coming in. I worked with him on Jersey Boys. Derek Baskin, who was the Otis Redding and Ain't Too Proud on Broadway. Well, Des McEnough directed Ain't Too Proud, and he's here in town directing Essential Alice at the Peace Center for the festival. You just brought up Derek Baskin. We actually had the chance to talk to him a few weeks ago, and he did leave us a quick message, so let's take a listen. Hey, Greenville, Derek Baskin here. I am ex so excited to see you guys. I'm excited to get that warm Southern hospitality. Treat me right now. I'll see you soon. And he's going to be an Essential Alice. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that show? Yeah, so Essential Alice is by Michael Friedman. Michael Friedman was a Broadway composer, most famous for Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson, which happened in Greenville. Um, years ago, I was the assistant director on this new musical he did called Essential Alice based on Alice in Wonderland that Des McEnough was directing. Well, it, it never happened because their schedules didn't work out, mm -hmm. and Michael passed away in 2017. This is the first time that musical has had a full public audience, and as I understand, the only complete Michael Friedman musical that has never been heard. Wow. Oh, yeah. We are so lucky, Greenville. I hope you guys realize that. I want to talk quickly about tickets because I know some of them are sold out. There's a chance to maybe grab some at the door. Absolutely. Okay. We'll have a waiting list. If you get there an hour early, we'll make a waiting list. And it's first come, first serve based on that waiting list. But that's for no shows. Since all of our tickets are free, we do expect some people reserved and won't show up. Um, so we'll start releasing those as soon as we get confirmation. All right, well, we'll be here before we know it. Thank you so much for stopping by today, West. The South Carolina New Play Festival is kicking off August 10th, running through the 13th. It's happening at multiple theaters throughout downtown Greenville. Of course, for more information, you can head on over to foxcarolina.com. And don't forget about those limited amount of tickets available at the door the day of. And now.